Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about Grammar's Rule. Till now, we have learned how to solve the system of linear equation using row elementary analysis, that is by changing into an upper triangular matrix. From that, we will try to find the x, y, z variable values. Now, the same system of linear equation can be solved using Cramer's rule. So we have three system of linear equation. From this, first we will try to find the determinant of a matrix. The determinant is nothing but from the equation 1, you have to take the values of x, y, z variables that is 2, 1, 4. From equation 2, it is 6, 1, minus 3 that is these values. Then from equation 3, it is 1, 3, minus 2. So our first step is we have to form the matrix A. From this we have to find the determinant. We know how to form the determinant. First we have to consider the first value that is 2 by eliminating its rows and columns and writing the remaining values. So it will be 1 minus 3, 3 minus 2 then minus 1 this value now the corresponding row and the column values we have to truncate the remaining value will be 6 minus 3 1 minus 2 then plus 4 that is this value and the remaining element is these four values that is 6 1 1 3 from this which is equal to 2 into this is a 2 cross 2 determinant we know how to solve this multiplying its principal diagonal minus offset diagonal that is 2 into 1 into minus 2 minus 2 minus 3 into minus 3 it is minus 9 then minus 1 minus 12 6 2 is a minus 12 then minus then minus 3 these two value now these two value plus 4 6 3 is a 18 minus 1 from this 14 plus 9 plus 68 which will be equal to 91 the determinant of this equation is 91 so from the system of linear equation we have calculated the determinant a now the next step is we have to form the a determinant for the x variable how to create that is very easier one so here this is the constant 8 5 5 now in the first column we have to replace it with the constant that is 8 5 5 that is this row this row needs to be replaced by the constant for a of x and the remaining value remains the same based on the equation it is 1y 4z 1y minus 3z 3y minus 2z so we have formed the determinant matrix for variable x same way you have to calculate like 8 1 minus 3 3 minus 2 then minus 1 5 minus 3 5 minus 2 5 1 5 3 so when you calculate this it will be 56 minus 5 plus 40 which will be equal to 91 that is a of x will be equal to 91 so we know the determinant value a a of x from these two x 
will be equal to a of x by mod a this is the formula and we know very well what is the value of a of x it is 91 then what is the value of determinant a that is also 91 therefore x equal to 1 this is the value of x simple just we have formed the determinant to find the value of variables the next step we have to calculate for a of y which is equal to just go up now in place of y you have to replace it with constant the remaining column values remains the same so the first column will be 2 6 1 and the second column value will be replaced by the constant and third column remains the same minus 2 when you calculate this 2 1 5 when you calculate this it will be 10 plus 72 plus 100 which will be equal to 182 so a of y equal to 182 now you know very well what will be the formula of y y equal to of y by determinant of a and we know very well the value of a of y is 182 and the determinant value is 91 therefore the value of y will be equal to 2 same way can you guess what will be for a of z we have to replace this column by constant and there is no change in the remaining two columns a of z will be equal to and it will be replaced by constant 8 5 5 which will be equal to when you calculate it we will be getting answer 91 therefore a of z equal to 91 now what will be the formula for z it will be so determinant of a of z by determinant of a which will be equal to 91 by 91 therefore z will be equal to 1 so let's do a short recap from three equation first we have to form the determinant of a we have to write all the variables value in the respective rows from this find the determinant of a in case if determinant of a is 0 then all the three values comes under inconsistent because we can't divide any number by 0 so here the a is not equal to 0 the value is 91 then we have to find the a of x for that the first column needs to be replaced with this constant then find a of x after that finding x is determinant of a of x by determinant of a so the value is 1 same way the second column will be replaced by the constant so we will find the a of y from this we can find y value then a of z the third column will be replaced by the constant from this we can find the z value this is how we will find the variables value using Cramer's rule Hope you got a clear picture how to solve this problem. Now we have fully completed the matrices part. So be happy about it. 20% of mathematical concepts we have completed for artificial intelligence or deep learning or machine learning. Next we will start with the vectors. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.